Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Time. Today's movie recap will be a thriller and action movie from 1998 called Enemy of the State. Warning, there are spoilers ahead. At the start of the movie, we meet Congressman Phil Hammersley, who has gone to a lakeside with his dog to take a break from work. There, he encounters another politician named Thomas Reynolds. They quickly get into a serious argument. The U.S. Congress is about to vote on a law that would allow the government to extensively monitor its citizens. Congressman Hammersley is determined to block this bill because he believes it would violate his voters' privacy. Reynolds tries to persuade him to reconsider, arguing the bill is necessary for national security. However, Hammersley insists on protecting his constituents' rights and decides to leave with his dog. Before he can leave, one of Reynolds' NSA agents kills Hammersley and plants heart medication near his body to make his death look natural. By chance, a camera set up by wildlife researcher Daniel Zavitz to study geese captures the murder. When Zavitz sees the footage, he realizes the news about the congressman's death being from a heart attack is false. He quickly shares this with a journalist friend. Earlier, while retrieving the tape, one of Reynolds' agents saw Zavitz, which leads NSA agents to Zavitz's doorstep. Zavitz copies the video onto a computer disc and hides it in a video game console. He escapes using the fire escape as NSA agents try to break in and are tracking him via satellite. Meanwhile, the story introduces Robert Clayton Dean, a labor lawyer played by Will Smith. One of his union clients was attacked by mafia boss Polly Pintero. Dean assures the victim he will handle Pintero. At a restaurant, Dean meets Rachel Banks, an ex-girlfriend, who gives him a videotape in exchange for money. Dean confronts Pintero at his club, showing him the tape that proves Pintero's involvement with union officials, violating his parole. After tense negotiations, they strike a deal where Pintero agrees to improve contracts for Dean's clients in exchange for destroying the video. Pintero, furious about being secretly filmed, threatens to kill Dean if he doesn't reveal his source within a week. As Dean leaves, one of Pintero's men half-jokingly tells him to smile for the FBI, who are watching the club from across the street. Next, Dean is at a lingerie store buying gifts for his wife when he runs into Zavitz, an old college friend. Unbeknownst to Dean, Zavitz secretly slips the disc with the murder footage into Dean's shopping bag and quickly leaves. Still on the run, Zavitz grabs a bike and rides through a busy street but is hit by a truck and instantly killed. When NSA agents find Dean's business card on Zavitz's body but no videotape, they visit Dean's home pretending to be local police. Dean, not knowing Zavitz had put the videotape in his bag, denies having any sensitive materials and doesn't let them search his bags without a search warrant. After the agents leave, Dean tries to find the materials but doesn't know his son had already taken the device from his shopping bags. Although the NSA agents initially left Dean's home quietly, they return the next day, break in, and search the place thoroughly, planting bugs and turning his home upside down. They also spread a fake story in the media that Dean was having an affair with Rachel Banks, the woman who gave him a video exposing Mafia boss Pintero. This gets Dean into serious trouble. He's fired from his job and kicked out by his wife. When he tries to check into a hotel, Dean finds his credit cards have been cancelled, and while he's dealing with this, someone steals his briefcase. Believing all these troubles are tied to the Mafia tape Rachel gave him, Dean meets Rachel in a public place and asks her to arrange a meeting with Brill, the real source of the tape, whom he has never met. Since Reynolds' men were listening to their conversation, they send an imposter, Brill, to meet Dean to find out where the murder footage is. The fake Brill convinces Dean he's the real Brill and is there to help. Soon, he starts asking about the murder footage that Zavitz had slipped into Dean's bag. In the midst of this, the real Brill chases them down, eventually taking Dean into a hotel elevator at gunpoint. There, Brill removes the bugs the NSA had planted on Dean. They go to the rooftop where Brill, revealing his name as Edward Lyle, a retired NSA agent, tells Dean that the NSA, not the Mafia, is after him due to the military-grade bugging devices on him. When a helicopter finds them on the rooftop, Brill realizes Dean must still have bugs on him and tells him to strip. Before leaving, Brill warns Dean to stay away from him and Rachel. Once Brill leaves, Dean starts running from the NSA, still carrying a few bugs. He finally ditches his clothes, amusing an elderly couple watching. He escapes by climbing on balconies, stealing a robe, and starting a fire to trigger a fire alarm. Amidst the chaos, he ends up in an ambulance where he steals a cop's gun, escapes, and runs down a tunnel. Even there, the NSA is still monitoring him on CCTV. He finally escapes by giving his robe to a worker, leaving the NSA agents frustrated. 
After escaping, Dean goes home and convinces his wife he wasn't having an affair with Rachel. He also realizes his son has the device that it slipped into his bag. Meeting up with his son in the back seat of his car, he finally gets hold of the much needed device. Dean then goes to meet Rachel and sneaks into her house, only to find she has been murdered and his clothes from the hotel are planted there to frame him for her murder. Dean also sees a photo of the real Brill with Rachel as a child, realizing Brill was a family friend of Rachel's. So, Dean contacts Brill again and they meet to discuss the whole situation. Brill reveals to Dean that the NSA killed Rachel to frame him and discredit him, making him untrustworthy even if he goes public. Afterward, Brill goes to get some food, telling Dean to stay put. But, like in many movies, Dean decides to use a public phone, which leads the NSA right back to their trail. When the NSA checks the CCTV footage at the store, they discover that Brill is one of their own, a former NSA agent. Brill then takes Dean to his secure office where he has been working for the past 15 years. There, they watch the murder footage of the congressman and understand the full extent of the situation. However, because of the public phone call, the NSA finds them. They attack the building, and although Dean and Brill escape, the disc with the murder evidence is destroyed in a fire. Now, in the movie's final scenes, Dean and Brill fight back to expose the corrupt NSA agents. They start by targeting Congressman Sam Albert, a supporter of the surveillance bill. They plant the surveillance bugs that were originally on Dean's clothes and shoes in Albert's hotel room, catching him in an affair with his aide. Brill sets it up so that the congressman discovers he's being spied on, with the bugs tracing back to the corrupt NSA faction. Brill then sneaks into Reynolds' private property disguised as an electrician and plants bugs there too, making sure Reynolds finds them to intimidate him. To add to Reynolds' troubles, $140,000 mysteriously appears in his bank account and he receives flowers from a woman, suggesting an affair and upsetting his wife. Brill and Dean then arrange a meeting with Reynolds, aiming to tape a confession. They go to the meeting wired up, but Reynolds doesn't confess easily. During the meeting, Brill and Dean are captured. Reynolds plans to kill them to eliminate witnesses, but Dean cleverly claims the murder tape is with Mafia Don Pauli Pintero, leading them to an Italian restaurant under FBI surveillance. Dean tricks Pintero into thinking Reynolds was the source of a troubling videotape and convinces Reynolds they were discussing the tape that recorded Hammersley's murder. Meanwhile, Brill pretends to vomit outside the van, signaling to the FBI that something suspicious is happening at the Pintero Social Club. Inside the restaurant, the situation escalates into a standoff and then a shootout, with almost everyone dying except for Dean and Brill. The FBI intervenes, exposing the corrupt motives behind the surveillance bill, and the surviving conspirators are arrested. The NSA's role is covered up by the FBI, Pintero is posthumously implicated in Rachel's murder, and Dean is cleared of all charges, returning home to his family. Brill escapes to a tropical location, sending Dean friendly greetings through a bug installed in his TV. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Take care and see you next time.